Welcome to Personalized Pricing, a strategy where businesses set different prices for the same product based on your purchase history, location, and browsing behavior. Personalized pricing isn't new. It's an advanced form of price discrimination powered by AI and machine learning. Companies analyze your digital footprint, what you buy, when you buy it, even what device you use, to predict the maximum price you're likely to pay. Frequent premium shopper? Expect higher offers. Price-sensitive borrower? You may see special discounts. AI models also adjust prices in real time, factoring in demand, competition, and inventory levels. Let's think about it. Let's imagine that a firm engages in personalized pricing. This is probably the most contentious kind of targeted marketing. And that more customers are served as a result. That the majority of customers actually are targeted a lower price than would have been the price if everyone was required to be charged the same amount. But in spite of that, a small minority of customers are paying more. Is that fair or unfair? Well, let's think about the alternative. If we implemented a rule that said, by law, the firm has to charge everyone the same amount, fewer customers will get served. So now we have to ask, what's fair? Is it more fair to serve the majority, even if a small minority gets charged higher prices as a result? Or alternatively, is it more fair to implement a standardized uniform price for everyone where only a small fraction of the consumer population can get served now because prices are now too high. Some real world examples, online travel agencies showing different hotel rates based on your past bookings, ride sharing apps using surge pricing, raising fares when demand spikes, streaming services tempting new users with custom trial rates while subscribers pay full price, or e-commerce giants like Amazon updating prices multiple times a day using your browsing patterns. When done right, personalized pricing optimizes revenue, improves customer experience, builds loyalty, and helps companies manage inventory more efficiently. For bargain hunters, it can mean better deals and tailored offers. But the strategy raises questions. The Federal Trade Commission is investigating companies like McKinsey, MasterCard, and Chase over concerns about surveillance pricing and potential discrimination. It may unfairly penalize less tech-savvy shoppers and undermines trust when customers learn others paid less. If businesses want to succeed with personalized pricing, they need to do so ethically. We need our consumer data protected. We need fairness in avoiding hidden discrimination. We should be told how prices are determined, and companies need to comply with privacy laws like GPDR. One thing's for certain, personalized pricing is here to stay. It will shape how we all shop online. For consumers, the key takeaway, your data has value and it's influencing the price tags that you see. For businesses, transparency and fairness will decide who wins the trust of tomorrow's customers. Let me know your thoughts.